Discover Dar e Salaam, the abode of peace. Dar e Salaam, Tanzania's largest city and commercial port, emerged from a fishing town on the Indian Ocean coast. Traditional residences of local and other Tanzanian tribes have been recreated at the Open Air Village Museum, which also accommodates tribal dancing. It's part of a national museum, which has exhibitions on Tanzanian history, including anthropologist Louis Leakey's discovery of human ancestors' remains. Dar e Salaam is a rich blending pot of old cultures and modern lives. It is a developing port city and commercial center for most of Eastern and Central Africa. Dar e Salaam, Tanzania's former capital city, has been shaped by Middle Eastern, European, and South Asian influences. It is still the location of much of the government administration and the home of many British and German nationals. Tanzanians speak two principal languages, Swahili, which is based on Arabic and Bantu, and English, while a variety of dialects from local ethnic groups are still spoken today. Here's a Dar e Salaam travel guide to assist visitors learn more about this important section of Eastern Africa, which has a unique mix of coastal resorts and industrial ports of call. Africa Reloaded is a reimagined version of the continent of Africa. Join us as we travel through Dar e Salaam in search of its hidden gems. A Brief History of Dar e Salaam The Lethali Footprints, an ancient path of hominid footprints measuring about 80 feet and estimated to be around 3.6 million years old, are one of the most amazing discoveries of the 20th century. These bipedal prints were a significant archaeological find in 1976, and they revolutionized our understanding of human evolution. The footprints were kept when a strange mix of a volcanic eruption, rain, and ash fall captured them for all time to uncover, accessible from Dar e Salaam in northern Tanzania. Dar e Salaam has historically been a center of trade due to its attractive position and natural harbor on the eastern African coast. By the 15th century, Europeans, first Germany and subsequently Great Britain, had identified the eastern coast's importance as a crucial port for Central Africa. Tanzania was formed in 1964 when colonial Tanganyika and exotic Zanzibar combined to form Tanzania, and the long process of relocating the capital to Dodoma began. Dar e Salaam is Tanzania's largest city, and it is expected to grow even more in the future. Cuisine and Nightlife Dar e Salaam cuisine includes delicacies such as Nyama Choma and Miss Khaki, both grilled pork dishes. Nyama Choma comes in a variety of flavors, but goat is a local favorite. The meat is grilled and served with what appears to be spicy chutney or salsa, as well as fresh lime. Long kebabs of meat and vegetables, like as carrots and onions, are served on massive barbecues, frequently street-side, with plenty of butter and fluffy garlic naan, which is baked in ovens that resemble large, heated urns. Chili paste and spicy curries are also popular. Fresh fish dishes abound in the coastal region and reserve islands. The many international culinary selections reflect the diverse influences on Eastern Africa, thus while East African, Indian, and Zanzibari cuisines are more frequent, anything may be found in central Dar e Salaam. The downtown area has a western vibe, which is reflected in most of the nightlife and music. Oyster Bay is a posh area north of Dar e Salaam with a strong British and German flavor. Beautiful white sand beaches, hotels, restaurants, art, and music on the warm Indian Ocean give it a resort feel. Techno clubs are also available for younger visitors. Exit the urban area for a more authentic taste of Tanzanian life. The Swahili-based Msasani Peninsula has evolved into a lively, urbanized destination with resorts, shops, and live music. For live music, DJs, and pub food, head to Mikachini's Old Bagamoyo Street. Beach parties organized by local hotels and restaurants keep Mikachini active. On Saturday and Sunday evenings, this neighborhood has a lively, enjoyable vibe. Look for bongo flava music in Dar e Salaam, which is a prominent Tanzanian interpretation of hip-hop and R&B. Tourism in Dar e Salaam The Dar e Salaam Marine Reserve System is a marine reserve off Dar e Salaam's coast. The reserve consists of nine deserted islands, Bungoyo, Ambadia, 
Pangavini, and Fungu Yasini to the north, and Inner and Outer Makadam, Inner and Outer Sinda, and Kendo Island to the south. The reserve's objective is to safeguard numerous critical tropical ecosystems, including coral reefs, mangroves, and sea grass beds, and is attractive to snorkelers, divers, and sunbathers. This is a fantastic day excursion for both residents and visitors. Many artifacts can be found in the National Museum, including artifacts excavated from the Old Dubai Gorge, where historic relics like the Litali footprints were discovered. Here is where Mary Leakey discovered the Australopithecus Boise skull in 1959. Find out when the museum's dance performances are taking place for a special treat. These popular shows showcase Tanzanian culture's indigenous dances, costumes, and colors. Bagamoyo, approximately an hour's bus ride north of Dar e Salaam, is a great place to visit if you're looking for ancient ruins. The Kao ruins, with two mosques and tombs, dating from the 13th and 15th centuries, are located here. The Botanical Garden, which sits peacefully along Garden Street, was founded in 1893 by German planners. Weather in Dar e Salaam Because of its proximity to the equator and the East Indian Ocean, Dar e Salaam has a tropical climate. The weather is often hot and humid, with an average maximum daytime temperature of 90 degrees F in January. In July, the temperature dips slightly to an average of 8 to 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Dar e Salaam, like many other tropical cities, has two distinct rainy seasons, long rains in April and May, and short rains in October and November. Economy and Infrastructure Dar e Salaam is Tanzania's most major commercial and political center. In comparison to other sections of the country, where roughly 65% of the population lives in rural areas, the city has a significant concentration of trade, other services, and manufacturing. Small shops abound in downtown, many of which are managed by traders and proprietors whose ancestors hail from the Middle East and the Indian subcontinent regions of the world with whom the Tanzanian coast communities have long had economic ties. Dar e Salaam is undergoing substantial growth and redevelopment. The 35-story PSPF Twin Towers are the city's and country's second-highest structures. The city faces serious infrastructure issues, including an out-of-date transportation system and electricity rationing on occasion. Government the town was incorporated as a municipality in 1949, with four honorably selected town councillors electing a mayor. Until June 1996, Dar e Salaam was controlled by the Dar e Salaam City Council of a main policy-making body in the city, according to Associational Life in African Cities. Popular Responses to the Urban Crisis, published in 2001. Paul Makanda is the commissioner of the Dar e Salaam region, as of 2017. Dar e Salaam, also known as the Abode of Peace, is one of Tanzania's most interesting city and the greatest place to invest. Everything is within your reach, whether you plan to vacation or invest here. Dar e Salaam has it all, from delicious cuisine to exciting nightlife and profitable economic opportunities. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope you enjoyed it. For more content on this channel, please like, share, and subscribe.